Now I'm going to be removing the power head off this 1978 115 horsepower Johnson outboard. So I've already removed the carburetors, the lower unit, the flywheel, the electronics, mainly the ignition system, um, tubes for the thermostat body there, starter, linkage cables, all nine yards. So basically all we're left with is the uh, basic power head. So first thing I'm going to do is pull out the bolts. Hold in the lower cover. I got one there, one here, which somebody already removed, one there was already removed, don't know why, and then this one there. Now I'll be removing the lower uh, cowling cover here. There's a screw here, should be one here, and two on the other side. If I need to remove the two in the back, there's one right there, and then one right there. This cover, front half, just fell right down. Back half with the two screws out, and we'll just slide right out. All right, with that lower cover dropped, I can then pull off the power head bolts. I got one here, 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 and you got two up here, which you won't be able to see in the light. So I can back out a little. Two right there. The other side of the engine, we have another five to pull out. Here, 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 and there. All right, now we have the fun ones, the guys in the very back. There's not much room back there. You can't get a closed end or box end wrench inside of there. So you got to use the open end. Not much room to grab. And those things, I don't know, for whatever reason, they kind of like to get stuck and rested. So what I like to do, spray them with our trusty PB blaster. Now I'll pull them out, just a hair. Put it back in, spray from the top. Hopefully that gets in more and those come out okay. All right, they're both a little loose. I've got them dropped, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. So I'll spray a little bit more in there, let it soak in for a bit, and then get them the rest of the way out. All right, I got one nut off. One nut was stuck, and you can see where the stud dropped down. That's perfectly fine. And just so you know, this is what all your attaching hardware looks like. All right, with all the hardware removed, this thing's ready to come off. So what you want to do is pull this thing straight up. You don't want to attach it to this hook and pull it up because if any studs that are still in there, they're just kind of going to bend and break on out of there. I mean, you can, don't get me wrong, you just might run into the, some problems with some bent studs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool. Now this is a flywheel nut with a little hook welded to it. This came on some junky engine I picked up. Um, you don't want to make one of these to do this because this flywheel nut's like 20 bucks. It's kind of silly. But I'll show you the tool that you uh, should use. Right, this is an engine lifting tool that I have. Uh, you can use this as well. It bolts right on the flywheel and you can pull it off complete. All right, I got my uh, hook attached. So now what I'm going to do is hook this up to a uh, chain that I have in the rafters. This is a Yale chain pull, I believe they're called. Three-quarter ton. Um, this is the... I don't know, this tool is actually qu quite handy. I use it all the time. I love the thing. Way better than a come along. All right, I get my chain hooked up. Got the chain a little taunt. So I'm going to start ratcheting it, pulling it up, and we'll see what happens. Looks like I have a problem in the back there. So I'll uh, show you what to do for that. I have a little pry bar tool here. It's going to help that back stud pop out of its hole. And that should have broken it loose. Looks like it might still have some problems. Just needed some wiggling. So, power head's free. Hoist this up a little more. Just make sure nothing's gonna stick. And, looks okay. So now I put my tool to, down, and I just pull it on my bench while I lower it.
All right. Now on my bench, no heavy lifting. So that's how to get a power head off by yourself, but you can use a helper too. Hope you found this video helpful. All right, this is the uh, power head underneath. You can see I kind of bent this stud. So I'll pull that out and that kind of sucks, but these things happen. But I'll clean all the spider webs off, pull out this stud, and uh, yeah, should be okay.